In this video, we're going to discuss balloon mortgages. So a balloon mortgage is a mortgage in which the monthly payments are not going to be enough to amortize or to pay off the loan. So let's say it's a seven-year balloon mortgage. By the end of seven years, the loan will not be paid off. So what you have is you have one final payment, one final payment that's really, really large, much larger than the previous payments, and that's called the balloon payment and that is to finally like amortize and pay off the loan although typically you're going to actually refinance the balloon so it's a little bit easier if I just get into an example and I'll show you what we're talking about here so let's say that we had a seven-year balloon mortgage and let's say that it was for an amount of a hundred and forty thousand dollars and the interest rate you're being charged is four point five percent interest so when you go to calculate for a balloon mortgage, even though it's a seven-year balloon, we're going to calculate the monthly payment as if it was a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. And I'll explain what we'll get into why in a moment, but just so we're going to have a monthly payment of $709. Now again, that's as if we had a 30-year fixed rate mortgage for $140,000 at 4.5% interest. So if we were to draw out a little timeline, let me let me draw a timeline here. So if if we were to go a full 30 years, so this this is the years, so here's year zero where we take out the loan, and so we'll say this is year seven. So after 30 years, at this point, assuming we were making these payments of $709 a month, we would amortize. We would fully amortize the loan. We would have the loan paid off at this point. But after seven years, the loan becomes due. So, the, so, but so at year zero, we're going to owe one hundred and forty thousand, right? This is this is when we take out the loan. Now, if we were to go and say, well, what is the balance due as of the end of year seven? It's going to be one hundred and twenty-one thousand eight hundred and thirty-seven dollars. So at this point in time, after seven years, the balloon payment comes due. And the balloon payment is going to be for $121,837. Basically, this is the balance due on the mortgage at the end of year seven. So that entire balance becomes due. And you might say, hey, wait a minute, how could somebody possibly just all of a sudden have $121,000. Uh, this is just ridiculous. Why would in, this kind of loan appeal to anybody? Well, so let's think about, about what happens here at, at this point, at the end of year seven. So typically, you're going to have it written into your agreement with the lender that you can refinance at that point. Now, that's what most people do. Now, of course, you, you do have the option to pay off the balance. So you could pay off pay off balance by making that balloon payment, assuming you had the money. Maybe you won the lottery or something. But most people are going to refinance. So essentially what this balloon mortgage is doing is it's saying that, okay, we're, you're going to be making these payments as if it were a 30-year mortgage, but at the end of seven years, we're going to say, okay, that's the end of the loan, and you have to refinance, assuming you can't pay the balance. So this gives the lender... A little more security because now if interest rates have gone up right so if, if there's been an increase in interest rates now the lender when you refinance the lender can charge you that that higher interest rate so we started with an interest rate of 4.5 percent so what if the interest rate at year seven let's say it's now let's say they had skyrocketed let's say now it's at 12 percent so now the lender can say, yeah, I'll, I'll let you refinance, no problem. That's written into the contract. Now you got to pay 12% interest. So you might be thinking then that, okay, well, why why would a borrower, why would I, if I'm buying my home, why would I ever agree to this balloon mortgage? Isn't there a lot of risk here? Well, there is, right? There's, you're exposed to changes in, in interest rates. Now, of course, if interest rates go down, it could actually benefit you. But you're getting a lower interest rate up front. So you're getting a benefit from this up front. And you might be thinking, well, what about an adjustable rate mortgage? How, how is an arm loan 
different than what's happening here. Well, an ARM loan, so we have this 4.5% this interest rate that we start with. Well, maybe with an ARM loan, it might have a cap. An ARM loan might have a cap where it says, okay, at the end of five years, the interest rate, even if it's at 12%, it can only increase by 3% of what the original value was. So it can just go up 4.5 plus 3, so it would go to 7.5. So you'd have this cap kind of protecting you with it with an arm loan. So actually, a balloon mortgage is, is in, in that sense, could be even more riskier than an adjustable rate mortgage because you, you don't have that cap. Okay, so there's, there's no cap. Let me just emphasize here. We are not going to, so in a, in, it works similar to an adjustable rate mortgage and that your rate is going to change, but you don't have that cap protection. In exchange, though, you're getting that lower interest rate up front than you would with, with an arm loan. So something to think about is that if you plan to sell, if you plan to sell your home, if you're going to sell in this period here, if you say, okay, well, before the balloon even comes due, I'm going to sell the home, then okay. Maybe it's worth saying, you know what, I really get the cheapest interest rate by doing the balloon mortgage, and I'm going to sell before the balloon comes due, so then I don't have to worry about refinancing and possibly incurring a much higher interest rate. Then a balloon mortgage might be a more, attractable, a more attractive option than an arm loan, or even a fixed rate mortgage because then you're, you're just getting the interest rate savings. But if you're not going to sell in this period, just understand that if you do a balloon mortgage, when the balloon comes due at the end of year seven or, or whatever the period is for the balloon mortgage, when that balloon payment comes due, if interest rates have skyrocketed, you could end up with a much, much higher mortgage payment.